Honestly, I can't wait to see you become a lawyer. Bendy, huh. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. No, it's, I can't wait to see you put on that lawyer's uh, evil gown and that um, monstrous wig. <laughs> Dale, mm -hmm. do not insult the gown and the wig. It is a crime punishable by law. Mm -hmm. That gown? Ah, mm. oh, I'm sorry. Mm. I want to disrespect them again. Mm? You know, I've seen it your help once you're caught, but you know, I have this penchant for getting into trouble. <laughs> hmm. You see it. Dale! Mm -hmm. So, this was your plan. That was the reason you encouraged me to study criminal law. When daddy wanted me to study corporate law. Lindy, not that. Not at all. Just that. I know you make it you make it as a criminal lawyer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, you know, See, let, let me just tell you one thing. If you do anything wrong, I will send you straight to prison myself. I know you can't do that. I'm your uh, brother. Stop that. Me. <laughs> I'll, I'll be Sex. Yeah. Pamela, you're crazy. <laughs> anyway, it's good to have you back. I've really missed you this past month. We are going. Uh, I missed you too. I know. London wasn't quite the experience without you. Yeah. Oh, girl, this is the premium stuff. Here, have it. You know I don't do wine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot you prefer your poison a lot more stronger. 
So tell me, how is your new book coming up? Ah, uh, slow. I'm having a terrible case of writer's blog. Like, I've got nothing. No idea. It's okay, Pam. You're strong. You can do it. Just give it time. It will come to you. Hmm? You are a great writer. And you know I love reading your work. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're my number one biggest fan. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the vote of confidence. And uh, you're welcome. So how have you been? Mm -hmm. I've been good. Except for the recurring nightmares that recently begun to creep up on me. Other than that, I'm okay. I just nightmare all about the nights Lydia got killed. For God's sake, girl, you survived the gunshots to the hearts. And which is a traumatizing experience. So we shouldn't be shocked if this nightmare keeps coming back. Yeah, I know. It's not as if I remember anything beyond the moment Lydia was shot. It's a total blank after that. So you haven't remembered everything since then? Not a thing. Okay, hmm. so I think you need this now. <laughs> you can enjoy your drink. Let me. You don't know what you're work. missing, no. What ah. am I missing? Why? Oh. Man, I don't like. Hi, baby. Hey, baby. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. So you're home, Ali? Well, I'm not back yet, but I just. Decided to call in to check on my favorite girl. Ah, your favorite girl. Well, this your favorite girl just made your favorite dish for lunch. Damn. <laughs> Why do you know my heart so much? Hmm. Do you know what? That he has got some sugar. No, no, no. Let me go. Let me get your food. Can you stop? No, no, baby, please. Look, I need you so much, so badly. Okay, just let, let me just feel your walls. Just this once. Shabu, I am not ready. Okay, I will get you ready. Look, baby, you will like it, I assure you. Shabu, please, just give it up. What is all this? Please! Linda. Linda! Come on, baby. Why did you walk out of me? I wasn't the bold. What is it with men and sex? Can't you just give me a little peace? Peace! Is that too much to ask for? My love, all I ever did was touch you. <laughs> you are my woman and. It's no crime if I make love to you. Why would you do that? Did I give you permission to touch me in that manner? Shagu, that is betrayer! I don't need permission to touch you. I'm your man. Your husband to be and I love you. Look, I want us to share our body more intimately. That way, No! Shaibu, no! I don't want that kind of bond. I won't allow it. Sweetheart, you don't even allow me to sleep at night with your screams. I end up staying awake with you, and you still don't want to tell me what your nightmares are. But I do all of that because I love you. Yes, I've been there. Don't you think it's your turn to be there for me? Yes. 
Jamie. You know I hate waking up to an empty bed. Come to bed, baby, please. Babe. I have a lot on my mind now. Does that include me? Oh, not at all. Fine. Hey, girlfriend. Yes, ma. Hey. Oh my. You didn't tell me you were coming. I was around the neighborhood and decided to pop in. And besides, you look like you could do with some company. Girlfriend, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, no way. You don't look fine to me. Get dressed, I'm taking you out. No excuses, Linda. Please, I'm taking you out. Uh, Linda! Jeez. Up, 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 up. Get dressed, please. Linda! Okay, yes. Oh, Nobody will die if you do, please. Please don't waste my time, we'll be fast. This house alone can you imagine. We don't get this. I mean this. I'm gonna have Have fun. Now you see, your special life is in dear need of an upgrade, girl. Sure, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy myself. Of course, you should. Hmm. Uh huh. I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, sure. I have to finish this. Whatever this makes you happy, day. girl. <laughs> Thank you. Tommy? All right. Please go. You need it, though. Sort of a boring life you live every day. I'm so sorry. That was so clumsy of me. It's okay. It's my fault anyway. I wasn't paying attention to the person I was talking. If you say so, who am I to argue with a lady and when she's as pretty as you are? You do know you are beautiful, don't you? And you're a bomb flex, and you? Wow, something like that. But what's the name of you? I don't know that. That's a pretty name, a pretty name. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. Well, so how do I see you again? You can see What? Because I am engaged to be married. Um, oh, Thank you. So? So? Mm. I believe he's, he knows he's such a lucky man. When you see him, you can tell him that. She hung up on me. Your daughter hung up on me. Zara. Please don't, please don't Zara me. Zarami, why is she so disrespectful and rude? Huh? By virtue of marriage, I am her mother and I deserve some respect. Zara, don't blow this out of proportion. Take it easy. Linda will come around and uh, both of you will arrive at a compromise. Hmm, really? Compromise, you said? For how long? No, Chief, for how long? We've been married for years and Linda is yet to like me. Huh? Come sit here. Come sit with me. Chief, all I'm asking. 
asking is for her to love and accept me. That's all. It's not too much to ask. I want you to take things easy with Linda. Hmm? She has been through so much trauma. She'll come around eventually. Hmm. Trauma? Is she the only one that has gone through trauma? I mean, I lost my child. I lost my baby boy. What could be more traumatizing than that? Hmm? It's alright. Everything will be fine. I thought you kissed me back. Can you please just stop. You know I don't want this. So why are you forcing me? I'm fine, Dad. How are you doing? I know that. I'm sorry. I'll be busy. You know my work. I know you miss your brother. He was your twin. But he was also as much as my son, as you and my daughter. But I miss you both. Come home to this old man, little girl. I miss you so much. I miss you too, Dad. Don't worry, I'll come soon. Okay, Dad. Bye. What's going on with me? Why am I so in so much pain? So where? I'm asking you, Shegu. What was so important that you have to leave the house in the middle of the night? I was up all night worrying over you. I thought something bad had happened to you. Okay. 
Did I ask you to worry over me? Are you my mother? You go bastard! <laughs> you insane? Are you stupid? <laughs> Then raise your hands and you sign. Don't be this Leave. I am. But you are working. What are those pictures for? You said you are leaving today. Are you asking me to leave? I'm just asking you to give me a break. Jim, you are heartless. I hope you know that. Mommy, mm. can you keep away this, please? Baby, are you aware I love you so much? Mm -hmm. I love you with all my heart, spirit, soul, but everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Darling, I just want a um, little. Tell yeah, how much do you want? Ah, uh, how do you know? <laughs> um. Okay, um, just four million. Mm. I'll write the check in. I'm very sorry for hurting you. I should have just told you where I went to and why. Then tell me, where did you go to that night? I got a call from the company's tech guy. It was so urgent that he couldn't wait till daybreak. I'm sorry, my love. It's okay. I forgive you. I shouldn't have attacked you the way I did. I'm sorry too. It's okay. Oh. Yeah. I bought your favorite. Wow. <laughs> I'm not I also made lunch. Uh -huh. Ah. <laughs> so, what did you cook? It's a surprise. Let's go for it. <laughs> wow. Ha! This is romance. Now I'm jealous. I'm just trying to wrap my head around a man who buys beautiful gifts for his girl and make delicious dishes <laughs> ah, for lodge God when oh Pam ah. I swear you're crazy I beg leave me Linda <laughs> in this life love is everything mm. ah oh yeah the way Shagun loves me is quite enigmatic oh. upon what I keep doing for him. And the fact that I keep denying sex, he just keep being true to me. Girl, that guy is a keeper. Oh yeah, he is my keeper. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what's up? 
with the memory of you recovered any one yet. <sighs> it's Pasha and Misha. Not a complete memory word. No. I don't remember anything. I'm not even sure I want to remember. I understand. She'll be fine. Okay? Okay, fine. Sorry. 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 I'm so sorry. You again? If we keep bumping into each other like this, I will start to think you are stalking me. Oh my god. Is this one this small? Well, uh, let's believe it's so. <laughs> so, can I have your number now? Like I told you before. Bye, 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 bye. So I'll keep reminding you of this when you get there. Hello, Daddy. Oh. How are you doing? I'm happy to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seeing you just added more life to me. Mm. As you can see, I'm doing fine. Yeah. Yes, and um, Zara is taking good care of me. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, Linda. I know you dislike Zara. So, indulge this old man and smile for me. Mm. No, that's better. Mm. So, uh, I'm happy you met me leaving. So, we will go out sit down, have a beautiful meal, and you can tell me all about your work and how many cases you've won for the past months. Oh, mm. okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Thank you, Let me see. Missed you so much. I missed you more. <laughs>
Baby, aren't you going to work today? I'm not just up to it. I'm taking a day off. Are you ill or something? No. I just want to relax. Okay. Then I'm off to work. See you later. Okay. Mm. Take care. All right, baby. Trust me to win this case for you. Yeah, no, you have to calm down. Yeah, I just got home to retrieve my laptop. I'll be with you soon. I understand, I understand. It's okay. Yes, I will. I will make sure I know the case for you, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll see you later. So you're saying you don't know if she knows everything or not? Shh. Shabby should be in a better position to answer that. She lives with Linda. Shabby Pamela is right. What is it she told you about her, this dream of hers? Well, it's nothing um, more than what I've told you guys already. <laughs> Shadow, Z is not happy with you. I am too. For what is worth, you know in this uh, line of business, you cannot afford the name sense. Don't say that, Creed. I am more disappointed. Yes, I am more disappointed because your third leg wouldn't let you be. Our job was to kill him and not to shoot nor arrest her. But you just doesn't upset me. It's you. What do we do? She recognizes me. She recognizes every single thing. What her? I want her life. I want her life. Problem. Talk to me, talk to me, Linda. What is the problem? <laughs> See, you've not been here for a very long time, and if you're here now crying that something is wrong, what is it? Talk to me, girl. Linda, talk to me. What's the problem? I saw him. You saw who? <laughs> I saw him, Serena. <laughs> what did you see? He was in my house. Who? The guy who killed him. Yeah. He was in the house with Shagu and Pamela. Where is she? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? Did you kill her? She escaped. Are you kidding me? How did she manage to sleep away from you too? You know what? Don't bother us with that. Just find her. I don't care if she hides under the rock. Find her. See, we will be happy to hear this. I don't care if she hides under a rock. But I, I don't understand <laughs> You said you don't remember anything that happened that night. How are you sure it's him? How? I had a recall the moment I saw him. This one. You regained your memory. And your best friend Pamela and Shegun are this man's accomplices? I don't think they want me dead. I can't believe 
Shake up, Pamela. I can't believe they betrayed me. Did anyone follow you here? Linda, did anyone follow you here? Did anyone follow you here? Linda! Did anyone follow you here? Talk now! I don't think so. No, no, no. You need to call your daddy. I can't. Call your dad. Please call your daddy now. You need to call him. I don't want his life to be in danger. Fine. Fine. Then we need to go to the police. Like right now. We can't. Why? There's no proof. They won't believe me. No, Linda, we need to go to the They are the only ones who can help us in this kind of situation. Proof or no proof, we really need to go to the police. I don't have evidence. This is bad. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, fine. What do you plan to do? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll think of something. Alright. <laughs> calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, just calm down. <laughs> Can I at least get you something to eat <laughs> while you're trying to figure out what next to do? You had one job. Just one job. One job which was to keep an eye on Linda and report to me once she started gaining her memory. But you couldn't do it. Can any of you tell me why I pay you incompetent fools? Azara, I think Lena tricked us. Shit. Just shut up! You crazy? Huh? It's Mrs. Balogu to you. You unfortunate ghetto tramp. Who gave you the right to speak? Huh? Who gave you the right to address me? Oh. Oh. See, just because you betrayed your friend with a tidy song, suddenly makes us equal? Look, you're nothing but a low-life ghetto trap. Get that into your head! Oh, Zara, please. I think we have to calm down. I mean, we all did our best. It's clear your best wasn't good enough. Your best wasn't, is it? girl was my backup plan. Yes! I told you to marry her so that you can help me secure the Balogu's dynasty. What did you do? You chose, you chose a long-term engagement. Did you read my plans? Well, what am I supposed to do? Take her to the altar at gunpoint? She said she was not ready for a wedding. Besides, I was one who told you that she has started remembering things through her dream. Didn't I? And you, this is your mess. Fix it. And don't try to disappoint me this time. I'll find where she's hiding. And once I do, I'll send you the address. Bring her to me. It's high time I have a child with my stepdaughter. Rubbish. This is the most intelligent thing you said out there. The girl in port is supposed to be your fiance. Tell us, where could she be hiding? I mean, Linda is the queen of secrets. No one ever knows what she's at. I don't think I want to be part of this anymore. Too late, babe. Too late. You're in too deep. In too deep. To quit right now. Don't worry, dear. 
She's fine. Uh, I know she's quite fine. I mean, um, she's our daughter. And as parents, it's our responsibility to occasionally check up on her and find out how she is. Mm. Hmm? Look, sweetheart, mm. all I'm saying is just call her, find out where she is and how she is. That's all. Hmm? Mm. Okay, um, I'll call her. Okay, thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, Dad. Okay, okay. I love you too. I love that. Is everything okay? It's just my dad. He wanted to know where I am. For security reasons, he said. So, did you tell him where you are and why? I did tell him I'm hanging out at your place. But I did not tell him why. Because I know that money goblin witch, Zara, is sitting beside him, listening to every word I'm saying. I don't need her getting over my business. <laughs> I see you still hate her guts. Huh. That makes both of us. I probably hate her more than you do. Why did you hate her? For obvious reasons, of course. What obvious reasons? For cheating on your father, now. Nah. Cheating on my father? With who? When? Serena, I am talking to you. Answer me. Zara was sleeping with Linda. Oh my god. Found out. That's why I broke up with him. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't know. I thought you knew. Oh. So angry with him for so long. It took me a long time to get over my animosity for him. I thought he loved me. I mean, he told me that he loved me, that he cared. That's why it's just so hard to believe that he could betray me in this way. I wanted to tell your father. I wanted to tell him everything. The temptation was there, but I just couldn't. Thank God you didn't tell my dad. It would have destroyed him. Dude. Gosh, I, I hate that woman even more now. I, I hate her so much. Thank God for the psychiatric evaluation that your doctor had to go through. 
So whatever you say right now will be attributed to emotional stress. So don't stress yourself. <laughs> you hear that? You're in Mount's case. No one they believe Mount's my dad these days. They <laughs> just let me go. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong to you. But you did a whole lot of things to me. <laughs> Which one amongst them is you not welcoming my sexual advances to you? Even though I went about it as a gentleman. Did I rape you? No. <laughs> not like Creed here. <laughs> Who raped you that night? I refrain because I am a perfect gentleman. <laughs> And you got a good ball for that matter. For that act at night. <laughs> Enough for time. Get up. Up, 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 up. you then move, you're dead. Move, move. <laughs> What are you trying to do? What are you coming? Listen, Zara said she wants her life. Seeing you. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> kill you. Who? <laughs> Who wants to kill you? <laughs> come in, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> Who wants to kill you? It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. Come on, I'll phone you. i Follow what I'm about to that bread. Oh, man, some person don't do me give away. Oh, I see iPhone. For this three, it's like this. Chief, can you call in now? It's been long we've not called her. I just spoke to her two days ago. I know, I mean, I'm concerned about her welfare. Her fiancé called me that they had a fight and Linda left the house. And since then, she hasn't been picking her calls. Fiancé? What fiancé? Linda doesn't have a fiancé. She didn't tell me anything about that. You don't need to worry, Chief. You know, she's not supposed to tell you these are the kind of things daughters discuss with their mother, you know? And she told me about this, fiance. What do you think? Please call her. Hmm? Linda has a fiance. That's interesting. I must see for me. Who they call? Who be this one? Hello? He Hello? Who is this? Who they call? Who be you? I want to speak to the owner of the phone. Give the phone to the owner. I want to speak to the owner of the phone. I don't know who they talk. Who be the owner of the phone? I don't know what they talk. This one on my phone. Oh. Nah, wrong number they call. When you are um, more, I can comfort yourself. Oh. A man answered that phone and the idiot just hung up on me. The idiot is not answering. 
I need to take a story in this house. Uh, uh, calm down, calm down. Don't get yourself locked up. I mean, probably she gave her phone to the man because she needed some time alone. You don't need to worry about it. That is absolutely absurd. You know, for, for someone who claims to have my daughter's interest at heart, you're suddenly less concerned about her safety. See, why are you talking like this? Eh? Oh, oh, okay, fine. Can I at least go? Linda, I need you to tell me everything. <laughs> Who is your fiancé? And why are they trying to kill you? I can't, I can't. They killed my brother. And right now. If I tell you, they are going to kill you too. I would love them to try. Look. I can't help you if you don't tell me everything. Why are these people trying to kill you? <laughs> Stop crying. Sit down. You want me to sit down? Did you not hear what the police said? Did you not hear what our neighbor said? That Serena was murdered. She was shot in the head. And you want me to sit down? Why would I know the, 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 the location of my daughter? She had even shot. Maybe Linda was not there when this happened. Maybe she, she went out to get something, well, I don't know. And, and for that girl called Serena, she got what she deserved. Sarah. Um, Linda, I bought you some clothes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You can tell them. Okay. Um, please. Can I borrow your phone? I want to call my dad. Thank you. Why are Zara's pictures here? This is Pamela. Shaggy. Jamie! Jamie! Yeah, I'm here. <sighs> what is it? Please, um, why are these pictures on the phone? It's for my client. I'm a detective. Please, who is your client? In our line of business, we don't disclose them. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry to ask. Because this is my stepmom, Zara. And, and this here is my best friend, Pamela. This is Shegu, my fiancé. You mean you are Chief Balogun's biological daughter? What? You know my dad? This is getting interesting. Chief Balogun contracted me to investigate his wife. He thinks she's having an affair. So, she's been in on it all along. I beg your pardon? Uh, Zara, she's plotting to kill me. 
She has always hated me. Baby, calm down. Calm down. Just to make sure I am following you. You think Zara is part of this plan to kill you? I, I told you some men are trying to kill me. Didn't I? Yeah. Here yeah, they are. See? This is Zara, my stepmother. I know. This is Shegun, my fiance. This is Pamela, my best friend. And this one here, this one here. <laughs> he, he raped me. He killed my brother. He killed my brother, this one. <laughs> Wait, calm down, calm down. Calm down. It's about time I speak with your father. <laughs> How can you say such a thing? Um, hello, Jimmy. I, I can't talk right now. I'll go. These are the men who killed Liddell and Serena. They killed her. I watched them kill her. Does your wife know you are here? No. I come to my destination as secrets, just like you instructed. I think it's time we go to your superiors with what we have. You are right, sir. But we need an airtight proof to procure conviction for them. With what we have here, it is nothing. They will just get off with a slap on their, on their wrist. to me what is happening. Okay, you just explain to me. Eh? I want you guys against disappointing me. Didn't I? Eh? I mean, I can't even imagine one girl, one, in building you two foods. I, I can't really get that. Myself, must I? I wonder what I pay you people for. The girl is very crafty. See? I would have killed her on the spot, but you wanted her alive. So what? No. Now it's my fault. Hmm? If you had adhered to my instruction in your first assignment, we wouldn't have been in this mess now. Yes, but you went. 
you had to go and rape her. Even when I want you to stay away from her. Sarah. Eh? Sarah, please. This is nobody's threat. Please stop making it look like one. The question should be, what do we do? Look for her. Look for her. That is what you should do and stop looking at me. And this time, no mistakes. No, because I won't take that. Looks good on you. <laughs> Thank you. I thought it would never size you, especially the shorts. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, you sleep here. What about you? I'll sleep in the living room. Are you, are you sure? I'm okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. Should I switch off the lights? Yes. Yeah. Um, 
I'm off to search for my daughter as I told you. Okay. So I'll be coming back home late, very late. Hmm? No problem. Yeah, so. I hope you're fine. Yeah, I will. Hello, Zara. I heard you've been looking for me. Oh, yes. Really? Thank God you're home, you know. We've been all worried about you, like. Oh, thank goodness. Can you please cut the art? There are no spectators here. It's just the two of us. What on earth are you talking about? I mean, this is not an act. Look, I'm genuinely happy that you're home. Yes. Sarah, I know who you are. You paid your goons to kill Lidell and I. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, she doesn't know what I'm talking about. Sarah, do you think I am stupid? Why did you kill my brother? Well, you know, I've always known you to be an overprivileged brat. But I think I know why now. You want answers, right? I'll give it to you. Sarah, can you please stop talking? Tell me why you killed my brother. Why? Because of the money. Because of the Benjamins. Yes. The money, the legacy, everything. Look. I needed to get hold of this money your dad keeps on master. Yes. And how do I achieve that? I needed a son with the Balogus unquestionable bloodline. Yes. Oh, oh, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, Sarah please, please, stop, 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 stop. Stop, please. I, I'm not up for it. What is the problem? I need your torch. I need to be touched. And I need to sleep. Is that too much to ask for? Okay, fine. Make love to me. I will allow you to sleep. Wait. I already made love to you. Ah! All of two seconds? That barely counts as love making. Ah, we can't continue like this. I need a child. I need a son. And we can't achieve that without proper love making. Huh? Zara, I've done my best for tonight. Please allow me to sleep. Maybe tomorrow or so. I need to rest, please. I have a long day ahead of me. <laughs> Good night. Look, your father isn't getting any younger or stronger. I've been married to him for years and he couldn't knock me up. That is a lie. You got pregnant and lost the baby. I was here, remember? Yes, I got pregnant and I lost the baby. 
But the baby didn't belong to your dad. Yes. Your brother was the complete package. He got me pregnant. And he passed it off as your father's. Yes. Linda found out the baby was his. And grew a conscience. Look, I begged him. I really begged him. But he wouldn't budge. So you had him killed? Look, that was a logical thing to do. Yes. Look, he was going to thwart my plans. So what about me? What did I do wrong to you? Look, you're right place, wrong time. I'm really sorry about the rape. I heard you were a virgin. That must have been very painful. Go to hell, Sarah. So tell me, how did Pamela and Shego fit into all this? A friend of yours was mad at Lindell. Look, he broke her heart. Yes. in tears. Did you hit her or something? No. I I really touched her. She said she has feelings for me. So I, I told her it wasn't emotional. She got pissed off and threatened me and left. <laughs> Honestly, Pamela thinks because she grew up in the slums of Lagos and know all the bad boys in this city. She can threaten anybody. But let me tell you something. I am not afraid of anybody. Okay. And as for you, Zara, if you're here again to convince me to allow you to pass off my child as my father's, you failed this time because I have made up my mind to father my baby. Once my father comes back from Hong Kong, I will tell him everything we did. And beg for his forgiveness. Look, Linda, your father may forgive you, but he's not going to forgive me. How do I put this for you to understand? Look, let's just continue this beautiful relationship. No one will know. Yes, look, I love you so much. With all my heart. Yes. Look at you. You're not even ashamed of yourself. I said I don't want this anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. Calm down. Look. I don't want it anymore. Please. Once my father comes back, I will tell him everything we did together. And beg him to forgive us. <sighs> Please. Do not tell him. I'm begging you. Please, you want me to go down on my knees? Please, don't tell him. I don't want again, and I must tell him, and that is final. Please leave. I said leave! <laughs> I 
I said, I don't want this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want it anymore. Please. Once my father comes back, I will tell him everything we did together. I'm begging to forgive us. What do I do about this boy? Honestly, Pamela thinks because she grew up in the slums of Lagos and know all the bad boys in this city, she can threaten anybody. But let me tell you something. I am not afraid of anybody. I know. So you plotted with Pamela and hired Shebu. And great. Look, she was quite enthusiastic about it. She hated your brother. Yes. Look, after you survived the gunshot wound and was diagnosed of Pasha and Mesha, look, I needed someone to keep an evil eye on you. So, that's how I met Shekou. You arranged it. Exactly. I arranged it. Look. After I miscarried and the doctor confirmed I wasn't going to get pregnant again, I have to devise a new plan. Get you to marry Shekou. Kill your father. And you end up in a ghastly mode of accident. The money automatically goes to your husband and I. Great plan, isn't it? But then, he would never let Shegu have his hands on the money, would you? <laughs> Not a cobble. I would have killed him. Hmm. <sighs> Isn't an option anymore. The cat is already out of the bag, and I have to clean the house. Yes. She got the gun! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it. for the murder of Linda Balogun, Serena, and for your conspiracy to kill Linda here and Chief Balogun. <laughs> now, nah. you're waiting, you're saying, brother. 